The red mono eye of a Zaku burns against the darkness of space. It is the 79th year of the Universal Century, eight months into a cataclysmic war that has already killed half the total human population. It was Zeon that started the war with a lightning attack that smashed the Federation fleet and caused one of the new space colonies to lose orbit and crash to Earth. The Federation has been on the ropes since then. Their lumbering warships and antiquated space fighters are no match for Zeon's new mobile suits, 18 meter tall piloted robots called Zaku. But all of this is about to change thanks to a secret Federation weapons project and some astronomically bad luck. Returning from a raid somewhere in the Earth's sphere, a single Xeon light cruiser, commanded by mysterious masked mobile suit ace Char Aznable, stumbles by complete happenstance upon an experimental Federation warship codenamed White Base on a mission to the partially completed civilian colony Side 7. There, a secret Federation lab has been working tirelessly on a new weapon that just might turn the tide of the war. Char pursues the White Base and sends a squadron of three Zaku to infiltrate the colony and collect intelligence. Civilians living near the Federation facility are ordered to evacuate. Among these is teenage tech genius Amuro Ray, the son of one of the lead Federation engineers. With him are his friends and neighbors, Frau Bo and Hayato Kobayashi, Federation soldiers watch the Xeon cruiser, and civilians wait inside shelters for the all-clear signal. Char's infiltrators discover the facility and confirm what Char suspected. The Federation has developed its own mobile suits. Eager to win glory, like his commander, one young Zaku pilot attacks without orders, destroying mobile suit prototypes and killing the base's outmatched defenders with ease. The civilians, inside their bunkers, begin to panic. Amuro runs outside, determined to find his father, but instead he finds himself in the midst of a battle, dodging stray missiles while soldiers die just meters away from him. Near the spaceport, he finds his father working on one of the mobile suits, codenamed Gundam. They are interrupted by another stray blast, but this one, this one hits a nearby group of civilians trying to flee. Frau Bo's mother and grandfather are among them. Overcome by rage and grief, Amuro climbs into the Gundam's cockpit. The Zaku open fire on him, but the Gundam's armor is too strong. He shrugs off their attacks. The Xeon pilots try to flee, but Amuro won't let them escape. He cuts two of them down. A reactor is breached. It explodes and tears a hole in the colony. Amuro's father is too close, and he's sucked out into the vacuum of space. The last of the Xeon pilots escapes, headed back to Char. The attack is over, but the threat has not yet passed and Char makes a haunting observation. No one likes to admit to them those mistakes we make because of our youth. 